Hello friends, welcome to wifi.com, one stop destination for all competitive exams. Friends, in this video, we are going to provide you current affair 2017 January 4th week in English. So friends, if you are weak in the vocab and you are not able to score good marks in the vocab, then you can purchase this our pen drive course in which you will get a 3000 words in 60 videos and you will get a very short trick by, will, by which you will easily able to remember all the vocabs. Apart from it, you will get a meaning in Hindi, synonyms, example, images and if you access YVocab24 app, you will get in just rupees 497 and if you want an 8GB pen drive, you will get in 999. So friends, if, and if you want to prepare from the application, you can download our Vocab24 app in which you will get a 10 new words daily from the, the Hindu editorials. So friends, if you like this video, please subscribe us so that we can provide you more content, more relevant material for your upcoming exam. So friends, firstly, let's start from the international section first. After that, we'll going to cover national, then trade and banking, economics, sports, appointments, everything which is relevant for your upcoming exam. So your first question from the international section is, which country has built world biggest solar park? Okay, so recently one, one of our neighboring country has built world biggest solar park. Okay, so let's see the news first. After that, we'll pick up the answer. China has finished building the Longyangzia Dam Solar Park in the western province of Xinhai, China. Okay, so the, your answer is China. China is the country which built the world biggest solar park of 850 megawatt. So your answer is C. You need to remember two things. First, the China is the country and second, it's on Longyangzia Dam Solar Park. The name of the dam, of the solar park. Okay, these are the two things that you need to remember. Which country has launched a 10 year plan to cut vegetable imports from India? So let's see the news. Nepal government has launched a 10 year plan to cut dependence on vegetable imports from India and make, make the landlocked country self reliant in food. Okay, so your answer is Nepal. A is your answer. Nepal is a country which launched a 10 year plan to cut vegetable imports from India. Which country will become the fastest oil consumer by the year 2035? Okay, so having so India to become the fastest oil consumer by 2035. So India is the country which will become the fastest oil consumer by 2035. So your answer is B, India. What is India's rank in the Corruption Perception Index 2016? Very important question friends. So India ranked 79th in the Corruption Perception Index 2016, released by the Berlin-based Transparency International Organization. You need to remember this also. Okay, the headquarters is in Berlin and the organization is Transparency International Organization which released this Corruption Perception Index. Okay, so they make a, the ranking according to the corruption in the PSUs. Okay, so there is 176 countries out of which India ranked 79. So your answer is C. And the list was topped by New Zealand and Denmark. And Somalia was ranked the most corrupt country with a score of 10. So you need to remember these two things also. What is India's rank in the 8th great power for the year 2017? So India's rank at the 6th spot behind China and Japan in the list of 8th great power for the year 17, 2017 by leading American foreign policy magazine. So India is on 6th place in the 8th great power for the year 2017. World Leprosy Day is observed in the memory of. So friends you need to remember firstly that leprosy is caused by a type of bacteria named Mycobacteria. Mycobacterium leprosy. So this is the name of a bacteria which causes leprosy and that multiply very slowly and the incubation period of, of this is the last up to 20 years. Okay, incubation period in nearby 20 years, last up to 20 years and it mainly affects the skin and peripheral nerves. Skin and peripheral nerves. So this is a few basic information you need to remember about this disease. And this disease is observed in the memory of Mahatma Gandhi on the death of the Mahatma Gandhi, the leader of India who understood the importance of leprosy. That's why it was observed in the memory of, it is observed in the memory of world, in the memory of death of the Mahatma Gandhi. And the day is 30 January. Okay, you need to remember this also. The World Leprosy Day is on 30th January. Which country will appoint world first digital ambassador? So to Denmark to appoint world first digital ambassador and it became the first country in the world to appoint a special digital ambassador to work on building ties with the globe tech giants according to a country foreign minister. And they, the, the aim of this digital ambassador is, uh, is of two things. First is in the technological development. Second is to make Denmark more in attractive for investment. Okay, so your answer is Denmark. A is your answer. 
which city has set up a personal status and inheritance code for non-Muslims. So Abu Dhabi set up personal status and inheritance code for non-Muslims. So your answer is A. Abu Dhabi is the country which is the world first country to stop investing in fossil fuels. Another important question because <coughs> fossil because of the fossil fuels burning of the fossil fuels there is a problem of the pollution and this country island became the world first country to stop investing in the fossil fuels. Okay so your answer is Ireland. B is your answer. The capital of the island is Dublin. Now let's see some national questions. National Girl Child Day 2017 was observed on which date? Very important question friends. You need to remember that the National Girl Child Day is on 24th January. Okay, so your answer is D. 24th January. Which state has inaugurated IT building Jyotir Maya? So recently one of our state CM inaugurated uh, one IT building named Jyotir Maya. So Kerala CM Vijayanan has inaugurated the 4 lakh square feet latest IT building Jyotir Maya at the info park in Kochi. Okay, so the, it is made in Kochi and your answer is Kerala. So it is inaugurated in Kochi by the CM of Kerala. Which state will become the first state in the country to opt for electronic transmission of postal, postal ballot to service voters? Okay, so Goa will become the first country in the country, uh, first state in the country to opt for electronic transmission of postal ballot to service voters in the upcoming assembly polls. Okay, so your answer is Goa. Goa is the first state in the country to do so. Let's see another one. Which one of the following election management body has signed a MOU with the ECI? So what is the full form of ECI? Election Commission of India, ECI. Okay, so recently they had a MOU with the few another election management body. So let's see the news. Election Commission hosts international seminar. Firstly, Election Commission hosts international seminar on strategies for empowering youth and future voters on 24th January 2017. Okay, in partnership with the UNDP India, in which they had a part MOU with the elect uh, Australian elec Electoral Commission, Election Commission for Bosnia, then Fiji, Fiji Election Office, then Election Commission of Nepal. So your answer is E. Okay, they signed a MOU with the all these four commissions national voters day 2017 is observed on which date okay so national voters day another very important question and it is observed on 25th january so your answer is d list of agreements signed between india and uae so friends there are lots of agreements which was signed between the india and the uae when the crown prince of uae that is mohammed bin zayed al Nayan, came to india as a chief guest on the 68th Republic Day of India. Okay, so if you are appearing for the UPS, then you need to understand and you need to read this all these partnerships or the MOUs which is signed between the India and UAE. But if you are not appearing for the UPS, then all these things are not important for you. Okay, so there are lots of agreement between the both, both these nations on MOU in the field of defense, maritime, human trafficking, okay, uh, road transport, official passport and special diplomatic holders program exchange corporation the program actions lot more it okay so you don't need to give go into the depth of it if you are not appearing for the UPSC exam and if you are appearing for the UPSC exam then you have to read all these things let's see another question which country will help India tackle daily air pollution risk so UK expert launch project to tackle daily air pollution risk so UK is the country which is going to help daily in air pollution task so your answer is uk united kingdom which state has launched dulari kanya scheme okay so arunachal pradesh launched dulari kanya as special schemes to check infant mortality in the state on occasion of the state republic day so the governor was v shanmaguntam launched the scheme under which the government will deposit rupees 20000 the bank account of a girl child born in any governmental hospital okay so if a girl child is born in any governmental hospital of arunachal pradesh they will get a 20000 rupees so your answer is arunachal pradesh Tulare Kanya scheme. Which state will ban polythene bags from May 1st? So Madhya Pradesh CM Shivraj Singh Chauhan announced a total ban on polythene bags in the state from the 1st May. So instead of polythenes, paper and a cloth will be used. So your answer is Madhya Pradesh. DU becomes first public university with the monumental flag. Okay, so election commission, elect, so 11 months after the all central universities, Vice Chancellor resolved to install the national flag prominently and proudly on their campus. Delhi University has hosted its first monumental flag. Okay, so after that, DU is the first public university in the country to get a monumental flagpole. Okay, so DU is the first public university in the country to have a monumental flag flagpole. 
वी शनमु गुमता रिजन रिसेंटली फ्रॉम द गवर्नर पोस्ट ऑफ सो रिसेंटली बिकॉज ऑफ द सेक्चुअल अरेंजमेंट चार्जेस वन ऑफ द गवर्नर ऑफ द नॉर्थ ईस्ट स्टेट वॉज रिजाइन इज फ्रॉम इज पोजिशन ओके सो वी शनमु गुमतम वॉज द गवर्नर ऑफ मेघालय सो योर आंसर इज बी मेघालय गवर्नर वी शनमु गुमतम रिजाइंस बिकॉज ऑफ फेसिंग सेक्चुअल हरेसमेंट चार्जेस विच सिटी हैज गॉट इंडिया फर्स्ट पोस्ट ऑफिस पासपोर्ट केंद्र सो मैसूरू गॉट इंडिया फर्स्ट पोस्ट पोस्ट ऑफिस पासपोर्ट सेवा केंद्र विच विल ऑफर ऑल पोस्टपोर्ट पासपोर्ट डेटेड सर्विसेज ऑन द लाइन ऑफ पी एस के सो योर आंसर इज बी मैसूरू नेशनल इम्यूनाइजेशन डे टू थाउजेंड सेवेंटीन वॉज ऑब्जर्व ऑन विच डेट सो वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन अनादर इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन फ्रेंड्स एंड इट इज ऑब्जर्व ऑन ट्वेंटी नाइन जनवरी ओके ट्वेंटी नाइन जनवरी इज ऑब्जर्व ऑन नेशनल इम्यूनाइजेशन डे टू थाउजेंड सेवेंटीन Let's see another question. Which city is hosting first North East Investors Summit? So one of our North East state recently hosted first North East Investors Summit. So let's see the news. The Union Textile Minister Smriti Shrimati Smriti Zubin Irani inaugurated the first North East Investors Summit, organized jointly by the Ministry of Textiles and the Ministry of Donsir and the State Convention Centre in Shillong. Okay, so it submitted it was held in Shillong, Meghalaya. So your answer is A, Shillong. IMD plans weather station in six sixty districts. So IMD, what is IMD? India's Meteorological Department. Okay. So keeping farm activities in mind, the IMD has decided to set up weather station in six sixty districts of the country. So initially they are planning for the one thirty. Expand the term tropax with reference to the Indian Navy. So what is this tropax? T R O P E X with reference to Indian Navy. Okay. So it is study. It is theater readiness operational. Exercise it. Okay, this is the name of exercise named Theatre Readiness Operational Exercise. It is India's inter-service military exercise, uh, which was taken both by both the Western and the Eastern Naval Commands and also by the Indian Air Force, Indian Army, Indian Coast Guard. Okay, exercising together. The Central will invest rupees fifteen thousand crore to develop twelve hundred kilometer of route in dash into national highways over the next few years. So recently, Nitin Gadkari declares one two five three kilometer roads in Assam as national highway. Okay, of and they will they want to invest rupees fifteen thousand crore to develop this national highway. So your answer is Assam. So th- your answer is D. Now let's see some trade and banking questions. Two thousand seventeen World Economic Forum annual meeting was held in which city? So the World Economic Forum annual meeting seventeen was held in Davos, Davos in Switzerland. So your answer is C. It is in Switzerland. So you need to remember this World Economic Forum meeting 2017, and the theme was responsive and responsible leadership. You need to remember this also. Uber is soon going to launch its own on-demand food delivery app, Dash in India. So what is the name of the app? Okay, which delivers food, and it is been it is going to be launched by the Uber. So your answer is Uber Eats. B is your answer. So Uber is soon going to launch its on-demand food delivery app Uber Eats in India. Previously, it was launched in Los Angeles and like Singapore, Bangkok, Tokyo also. But uh, after a few time, it is going to be launched in India also, named Uber Eats. Under section of the Banking Regulation Act 1949, the Reserve Bank issues license to small finance bank in India. So let's see some news first. Utkarsh Small Finance Bank Limited and Sarbodhya Finance has. Commence their operation as a small finance bank with effect from Jan 23. Okay, 2017. You need to remember this name of these banks also, small finance banks also. So the RBI issue uh, issued a license to the bank under Section 221 of the Banking Regulation Act 1949 to carry the business of a small finance bank in India. Okay, so your answer is 221 under Section 221 of the Banking Regulation Act 1949. Namuro Namura rating agency is from the which country so this rating agency forecast india's growth to 6% in october december 2016 and 5.7% in jan to march 2017 okay and this agency is from the japan so your answer is b Gujarat ranked best among rates in moving towards cashless economy. So, when it comes to moving towards a cash economy after demonetization, a latest analysis based on data from over five million users of a personal finance app shows that Gujarat takes the top spot among states, followed by the Telangana and Haryana. Which bank has signed a MOU with the Tirth Agro Technology and Agriculture Mechanization for mechanization? So, Karnataka Bank Tirth Agro Technology signed a MOU on the agriculture. Mechanization. So your answer is Karnataka Bank. They will provide a loan to the farmers to to uh, base some agri mechanization. 
which bank will deploy around 20 robots in next two years so india's second largest private sector lender hdfc bank will deploy at least 20 humanoids in its branches in the next two years which will provide some help like a um, cash deposit for next they will show where they have to go where they have to go for the cash deposit foreign exchange loans amongst other in the first phase so your answer is hdfc bank what is the name of a wealth management product launched by the SBI in Kochi? So the name of that wealth management product is SBI exclusive. So D is your answer. Expand the term G A A R GAR. So it is it is going to take place from the first April, and India made that clear that the general anti-avoidance rules. What is the full form of this general anti-avoidance rule? Okay, the aim of this is to deny tax benefits to entity that exploits an investment avenue solely for the purpose of avoiding payments of taxes in India. Okay, so this is the aim of this. India's largest startup incubator will be set up in which city? So, so the Desh Pandey Foundation entrepreneurs Guru Raj Desh, Desh Pandey will launch the country's largest startup incubator center in Hubli. Okay, so your answer is B and it is in Karnataka. It is in Karnataka. India, which state has signed a pact with oil companies for ethylene derivatives plant? So HPCL, Hindustan Petroleum Corp and Ghail has signed an MOU with the Andhra Pradesh government to set up 40,000 crore petrochemical plant in the state. So your answer is B. Andhra Pradesh. Which company has acquired MoneyGram? So Alibaba Financial Arm acquires MoneyGram and the name of that arm is Ant Financial. Rural Electrification Corporation Limited has in three pack to expand financial assistance of around Rs. 60,000 crore to the Rural Electrification Com Corporation Limited has signed a pact with the Andhra government. Okay, so your answer is B. Now let's see some appointments. Who has been selected as a Himachal Pradesh Olympic Association President? So recently <coughs> removed from the BCI post from the BCI President, Anurag Thakur became the Himachal Pradesh Olympic Association President. So your answer is Anurag Thakur. Pravind Kumar was sworn as the Prime Minister of. So Pravind Kumar was sworn as the Prime Minister of Mauritius. So your answer is D. Very important question. Who has been appointed as a COO of Ola? COO. The meaning of the COO is Chief Operating Officer of Ola. So the PepsiCo PepsiCo executive Vishal Kaul appointed as a Ola COO. So okay. So he was a previously PepsiCo executive. So your answer is Vishal Kaul. Who is the Foreign Secretary of India? Very simple and very important question friends. Jai Shankar. Foreign Secretary Jai Shankar gets one year extension. Another one year extension. UN appoints Director of UNIC in New Delhi. So UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres has appointed a senior Dutch official as head of the World Body Information Center in New Delhi. Okay. Doug Sigar of the Netherlands has been appointed as a Director of UNIC in New Delhi. So you need to remember this. Who is the chairperson of the recently reconstituted Target Olympium Podium Committee? So Target Olympic Podium Committee. Okay. So Sports Minister Vijay Goyal reconstitute TOP Committee. So the full form of TOP is Target Olympic Podium. So they want to increase some medal in the Olympics from the Indian side also. That's why they made this committee. And, and the objective of this committee is to identify and supporting potential medal prospect from 2020 and 2024 Olympic Games under the Target Olympian Podium Scheme. And, it is, and this is a 10-member committee headed by the Beijing, Beijing Olympic gold medalist Abhinav Bindra. So your answer is C. Abhinav Bindra is the head of this Olympic committee, is chairperson of this committee. Who has been appointed as the acting governor of Meghalaya? So Banwari Lal Purohit sworn as an acting governor of Meghalaya after Shanmuguntam resigned from his post because of the sexual harassment charges. So your answer is A. Who has been appointed as a vice chancellor of Nalanda University? So Dr. Vijay, Vijay Pandurang Bhatkar has appointed as has been appointed as a new vice chancellor of Nalanda University. So your answer is D, and he is known as the father of Indian supercomputer also. Bhatkar, Vijay Pandurang Bhatkar. You need to remember this also. Which country will host 2020 Olympics? So Tokyo Olympics unveils Goku from Dragon Ball Z as a brand ambassador. Okay, so they reveal brand ambassador also. And your answer is D. Japan, Tokyo will host 2020 Olympics. Who has been appointed as the interim head of the Postal Bank? So AP Singh is interim head of the Postal Bank. So your answer is A. That is AP Singh. Who has been appointed as a Delhi Police Commissioner? So recent, previously was Alok Verma 
ओके राइट नाउ इट इज राइट नाउ द न्यू अपॉइंटमेंट पर्सन न्यू अपॉइंटेड पर्सन एज दिल्ली पुलिस कमिश्नर इज अमूल्य पटनायक ओके एंड ही विल हैव वन ऑफ द लॉन्गेस्ट टेन्योर एज दिल्ली पुलिस चीफ ही इज सेट टू रिटायर इन जनवरी टू थाउजेंड एंड ट्वेंटी एंड ही इज ए वो नाइनटीन एटी फाइव बैच आई पी एस ऑफिसर यू एन एज अपॉइंटेड डैश एज इंडिया एज गुडविल एम्बेसडर फॉर सस्टेनेबल डेवलपमेंट गोल सो यू एन अपॉइंटेड अशोक अमृतराजर so your answer is a ashok amritraj who has been appointed as the head of bcci interim panel another important question because recently supreme court has appointed vinod rai okay ex cag head as a head of administrative panel to oversee the affairs of the bcci that is board of cricket board of control for cricket in india and some another the four panel so it is of four panel member committee that will consist of a noted historian and writer ramchandra guha and former women cricket team player dina and vikram silly mein so these are the four member panel which is headed by the ex cag head vinod rai now let's see some award question warner wins allen border medal for the second year in succession so david warner australian opener won this award for the second time named allen border medal okay and he is the fourth person to do so previously ricky ponting michael clark and shane bonson has been achieved the This award twice or more than eight. So this is the only thing that you need to remember from this part of the story. Which airport has won the Golden Peacock Award 2016 for corporate social responsibility? So Delhi International Airport win Golden Peacock Award for 2016. So your answer is C, Delhi Airport. Which one of the following has received NTPC Award 2015 and 16? Okay, which one of the following received NTPC Award? So Damodar Valley Corporation has received this NTPC Award. From Union Power Minister Piyush Goyal, so you need to remember this. Union Power Minister Piyush Goyal, and this Damodar Valley Corporation won this award. Padma Awards 2017 announced, and Padma Vibhushan is given to is seven person, and Padma Bhushan is also will be given to seven persons, and Padma Shri awarded was awarded to 75 personalities from various sectors. Okay, so you need to remember there are two person from the Padma Vibhushan. who got this posthumously and there is a one person rama swami from the padma bhushan category so these are the few names that you need to remember who has been conferred with the national geoscience award 2016 so this award is given by the union ministry of mines in recognition of its work in the field of geo environmental studies and a person is keshav verma a keshav verma got this award national geoscience award who has won malaysian open badminton 2017 so after a so after Nawaz Jabbar won the first title after a career-threatening injury by claiming the Malaysian Masters Grand Prix gold with a hard-fought victory in the summit clash. Sahina Nehwal won this award. So your answer is A. Sahina Nehwal won this Malaysian Open Badminton Cup 2017. Iris Mitrani of Dash Bank the Miss Universe 2016 pension held in the Philippines. So Iris is from which country? Which won the Miss Universe 2016 award in Philippines so she is from France so A is your answer okay so she is from France which won this Miss Universe 2016 award okay so bollywood actress sushmita sen who won her previous her miss universe title in 1994 at manila was also on the judge panel this year so this is a two thing that you need to remember now let's see some sports question irani trophy is related to which sports so it is related to the cricket very is where it's one of the easiest question and vidyaman saha double century helped the rest of india clinch irani trophy so rest of india defeated the gujarat and won this trophy in which vidyaman saha scored double century and, and with the cheteshwar pujara scored 116 not out and they had a 316 run partnership in by which they won this trophy and he declared vidyaman saha declared the man of the match also Dhruv Sunesh win ITF junior title so Dhruv Sunesh finally got the taste of ITF junior titles won he won uh, the won the boys singles crown okay boys singles crown ITF junior title Dhruv Sunesh Bolt loses relay gold after Jamaican Carter test positive so previously Usain Bolt was triple triple three medal in three olympics but uh, because of the positive test held was because of the positive test result of the office one of his teammate carter they we have to give their one medal out of nine medal and he have to give one medal out of his nine medal and right now he will have only eight 
एट ओलंपिक मेडल्स गोल्ड मेडल्स ओके एट ओलंपिक गोल्ड मेडल्स बिकॉज ऑफ द डोपिंग चार्जेस विच वॉज विच वॉज प्रूव राइट बाय द बाय द इंटरनेशनल ओलंपिक कमेटी आई ओ सी मीटिंग जमे का फोर इंटू हंड्रेड मीटर रेले टीम विल मस्ट गिव बैक देयर गोल्ड मेडल्स ओके सो एंड इट वॉज इन इट वॉज टेकन इन टू थाउजेंड एंड एट बीजिंग ओलंपिक दे वॉन्ट दिस फोर इंटू हंड्रेड रिले गोल्ड मेडल दिस जमेकन टीम ओके सो नेशनल कार्टर वॉज फाउंड गिल्टी ऑफ डोपिंग एट द टू थाउजेंड एट ओलंपिक बीजिंग ओलंपिक हु हैज वॉन सईद मोदी इंटरनेशनल जी पी वुमेन्स टाइटल सो पी वी सिंधु एंड समीर वनवा विन सईद मोदी इंटरनेशनल जी पी टाइटल्स सो यूर आंसर इज पी वी सिंधु हु हैज वन ऑस्ट्रेलियन ओपन मैंस टाइटल टू थाउजेंड सेवेंटीन दिस इज अनादर इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन एंड यूनिटी रिमेंबर दिस दीज थ्री थिंग्स यूनिट टू रिमेंबर ओके सो फर्स्टली यूनिट टू रिमेंबर मैंस कैटेगरी इन विच रॉजर फेडर फ्रॉम स्विटरलैंड वॉन दिस won this uh, title defeating Rafa Nadal from Spain in women's category Sar- Serena Williams from US defeated Venus Williams her elder sister yeah, she is also from USA and you need to remember the Sanya Mirza Sanya Mirza from India won the won the silver medal or the or she was stood in the runner up title okay and she was defeated in the finals by the US and the Colombian team Next, another one. India's first multi-sports museum has been opened in which city? So, Sachin and Saurav inaugurates India's first multi-sports museum in Kolkata. So, your answer is B. Who has won Kolkata Women Half Marathon? So, Abul Hussain win Kolkata Marathon. Abul Hussain, Siliguri led. Abul Hussain won the Kolkata Marathon, and uh, Mangali Tima Tamang won the Women Half Marathon, and she is from Sikkim. Okay, Mangali Tamang. So, your answer is D. Now let's see some death questions. Lash Lal Puri has passed away recently. Who he was? So he was a Urdu poet and lyricist. Okay, so your answer is D. Alexander passed away recently. He was a Russian ambassador too. So he was a Russian ambassador to India. So he passed away recently. Alexander Kadamkin. U.S. actress Mary Taylor Moore passed away. So he is a legendary actress. Mary Taylor. So she is a very legendary actress. And Mary Taylor Moore was related. A generation of American with her energetic comic performances died after suffering years of ill health. She was 80. So, friends, these are the important content from the fourth week of the January 2017. And friends, if you are not subscribed our channel till now, then click on this logo to subscribe our YouTube channel for daily videos and for daily newspaper editorials, vocabs and quizzes. Download Vocab 24 app now. And if you enjoyed this video, then don't forget to like and share this video with your friends and give your feedback while commenting on this video. So, friends, thank you and all the best for upcoming exam. Hope you like this video.